The design's part of the landscape, it sits right on the river. A lane on one side and the river on the other side. It's a two level apartment building with three apartments. Every level is surrounded by a garden, especially the upper level. The client came from a rural property where gardening was such a big passion for her. So we had to try and incorporate the garden into the building. Part of our main journey in the design process and through the build was to do everything we could to reduce the bulk and scale of this building. So the big horizontal elements, a classic treatment from mid-century and Japanese design, dark stained Akoya timbers, lots of screening and layering and wrapping in vegetation, that all helps to reduce the bulk and scale. We really took the approach to sit with less is more. Overall, it's quite a simple palette. Just honest materials that are handmade and um, just give a really nice tactile finish. And then we layered on top of that some furnishings that had a little bit more personality, I suppose filled the space and made it more of a home. The dining table, the coffee table, all of the headboards were all custom designed. The polished floors were the basis of the interior and so we wanted to add a little bit of texture through our tiles and our natural stones. I don't know if the building disappears, but what we want to do is make it as reductive as we can. Those things are those big horizontal plates, the fine edges where the concrete has a beautiful curve. So we're adding softness, horizontality, and also the layering that comes with the landscape. In Brunswick Heads and this sort of Byron region, it really is uh, one of the most harsh environments in Australia. We have big differences between heat and cold, we have salt and tropical rains. So we're constantly talking to clients about low maintenance buildings. Concrete is one of the most robust materials one can use in a coastal environment. It's very beautiful and it's, it's timeless. Geostone is a decorative concrete brand of Wholesome Australia. Mona Lane is the perfect example of a Geostone residence. You've got an exposed daguerre driveway with a white quartz, floating steps, and this beautiful polished floor. The different polished finishes can really shift the emphasis. Minimal exposure like we have here, and it's complementary to an ambitious and grand design. The greatest challenge was the big pores of concrete. There was a degree of anxiousness waiting for that formwork to come off. We've been working with Geostone for over 30 years, developing recipes for concrete mixes like coastal cream that we've used here on the lower floors. There was a lot of satisfying elements to this project. The one that really sticks out to me is the curved concrete suffetes. Because it is such a big open space, we wanted to make it quite cosy, and so to do that we use lighting. As you're guided down the hallway with the beautiful oak panelling, it sort of slowly reveals the view. So you're always connected to the river. There's a public walkway in front as well, so you're also connected to the community. And the clients enjoy looking over the river, gardening within their own space on an upper level, and just being able to um, access the amenity of beautiful Brunswick heads.